there's two of these cars on the planet. One of them's in Europe. We probably don't need to say on the planet. You probably just say two of these cars, right? Because you wouldn't go, well, what planet are we talking about? Like, is there one on Mars or is one on the moon? Like, I'm Matt DeAndrea, and this is Car Collectors. Hey, I'm Adam Carolla. Welcome to Corolla Digital. You want to see some cars? I thought so. Come on. My name is Adam Carolla. I do a podcast. I'm a comedian and I race vintage cars. This car is probably worth $800,000, depending on who's drunk. I didn't get into this uh, hobby to make money. I got into it because of the beauty of the, uh, of the sculpture. I mean, it really is work art. But if you know someone's got a big fat check and it's drunk, anywhere to find me. Adam Carolla, thank you for inviting us to your studio. Here we have your Paul Newman race car. Why collecting Paul Newman cars? I started reading up on Newman and, and kind of investigating the kind of guy he was. He's won a bunch of championships driving a car. I mean, this guy is an incredible guy, yeah. you know? So I was like, I'm buying his cars and yeah. uh, I'm gonna race them. So that's why you're not buying like Frankie Munez's race car. Does he have one for sale? I don't know, he might. I saw him at Barry Jackson. I make phone call. Everybody asks about the color combination. It kind of looks very Christmassy. It's a Aston Martin British, uh, not British racing green, but Aston Martin racing green, which is different than British racing green. There's old British cars that have that red leather interior yeah. on the green. And I was like, that's awesome combo. I do think a car is supposed to be in its color, like a big, bulbous, beautiful Brazilian ass. If that were pasty white, <laughs> It wouldn't look good. Show me what you did to the engine on this car. Well, the car comes with big, fat, ugly air filters on it. It's like taking a supermodel and putting a Burke on them. I took off the big air filters. I mean, they look like medicine cabinets, you know? It hides the work art. Anyway, I found these T-strainers and they turn out to be the right size. This is a Corolla only item, I'm sure. You've raced this one quite a bit as well. Tell me about Jim Fitzgerald, who, who had this car. Fitzy, as he was known, was a really good driver. And he, him and Newman worked out nicely together as, as driving partners. Fitzy didn't know anything about Hollywood or movies or anything, so he just liked racing cars. Yeah. So they, they, they made a perfect team. Adam, thank you so much for inviting us here. Anything for you, Matt. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe to GQ, send us your comments, let us know what you want to see on Car Collectors.